With a definite push towards electrification, the number of electric vehicle manufacturers in India is slowly going up. And one such new EV startup is Avan Motors. The Avan Zero Plus is the company's flagship model and we spent some time riding the electric scooter to see whether it can be an eco-friendly and a viable option in place of a regular petrol-powered scooter. Avan Motors is a new up-and-coming EV company and a few months ago it launched the Avan Zero Plus which is what we have with us today here. Its compact tiny dimensions are ideal for city use and it gets a lithium-ion battery with a 24H capacity and an 800 watt motor. But let's get some seat time with this and see how it copes with the Delhi traffic. The Avan Zero Plus is a scooter with a clean, no-frills design. The small front apron gets a black band, which adds visual relief. The headlamp is a regular halogen unit and is mounted on the handlebar. View it in profile and you will realize that the silhouette is quite small. The top box on the scooter is a standard fitment and makes it more practical even if it doesn't look as good. Overall, the design is conservative, but should appeal to a larger audience. It gets a digital instrument console which shows information such as range, battery, speed, etc. The metal frame around the body acts as a crash protector and saves the body of the scooter from dings and scratches. There's a disc brake up front and a drum unit at the rear. And as far as suspension is concerned, it gets a telescopic setup up at the front and coil springs at the rear. The under seat stowage too is quite small and can only fit in small knickknacks. Getting the numbers out of the way first, the scooter has a range of 110 km with the dual battery pack option and a maximum speed of 45 km per hour. Well, there's no range anxiety as such. But we did face problems with the battery connection. So every time the scooter went over a bump, the battery connection was loose and the scooter lost power. It could be very dangerous if you're riding in traffic. Also, the ride quality is slightly stiff than we would have liked. A softer, supple ride quality makes for a much better ride experience. The Zero Plus weighs just 85 kilos and that means it can be easily ridden by people of most age groups. The lithium-ion batteries are mounted under the floorboard and are removable. Avan says that the batteries can be charged fully in about 6 to 8 hours. The Zero Plus feels quite light and nimble and therefore filtering through heavy traffic is a boon. With a top speed of 45 km per hour, it really doesn't leave you much of an opportunity to explore the handling capabilities of the scooter. The scooter will get you from point A to point B at minimum cost and if you are not in a tearing hurry. The right control on the handlebar has a button marked shift which acts as a gear knob. What it actually does is that in first gear the scooter loses speed but has more pulling power which works well in case you want to climb up a flyover with a pillion or some luggage. There are three gears and if you want to cruise at 35 to 40 km per hour, the third gear works best. The Avan Zero Plus makes perfect sense for college goers, housewives and elderly people. It is a good mobility option if you have a short commute and want to keep it clean and green. It is priced at 47,000 rupees for the single battery option and 55,000 rupees for the dual battery option. The Avan Zero Plus goes up against the Okinawa Praise and the Ridge Plus. And yes, it is as expensive as other petrol powered scooters. 
and may not offer similar levels of performance. But its biggest USP is clean mobility and low cost of ownership.